Capricorn, who is this person that you are entertaining that you know full well you are misaligned with? Some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. Shout out to the Aquarius Cuspers. Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you know that this person is, and yourself, oop, Cancer also, are not on the same page. Mentally, emotionally, and morally, there seems to be a difference between you and this person. Capricorn, drop this person's sign down below. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn content. And let me know where you are watching from. Always big shout out to everyone in Michigan. Capricorn. These two things came out together and I don't know what this is yet. I wanted to wait till I got it on camera. Family. But every time you think about it, reflect on this situation between you and this person. Every time you think and speak to this person, you know that you're misaligned. completely misaligned. I also feel like there's an element of this Capricorn, of someone ident seeing a lot of themselves in this other person. And that keeping them in a situation, even though you know, they know, you're not on the same page. You're not moving in the same direction. Again, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Not in alignment. And then there's this lack of a moral compass. Somebody being very um, ego-driven. Wanting power and control. Is that you? We also get... I also get this energy of somebody not having moved past a past situation. You, you knowing that. And not only that, notice the repeating numbers here, the chariot and the seven of swords. Please drop the repeating numbers you've been seeing lately. Um, not only have they not moved on past a situation from or a person from their past, they're still talking about this situation. That seven of swords in the reverse, it's very obvious. They're not even able to hide it, the fact that they're still, they haven't moved on. Mm. They're all over the place. Every time you think and speak about this person, all this air energy, every time you get more information on this individual, from them, on them, anything, I feel like not only is it contradictory, but it just goes to show how misaligned you and this person are. Are they that attra attractive? Are they doing very well financially? Do they have a lot of social status? Are they a lot of fun to be around? They could be very attractive with this sun energy. But then there's this king. I feel like you keep having to find something out. And I'm not sure if somebody is a liar, Capricorn. I almost don't get that they're a liar, seeing as how all the swords are actually in the upright. When they're facing down to me, that's why these are upright. So they're either not being very transparent or you're reading between the lines. Through what this person is saying, you can see mm, they may be problematic. They have not moved past another situation. Uh, mentally, they're not in the same place with you. Morally, they're not in the same place with you. I feel like also how they would handle themselves in the workplace and in business also doesn't align necessarily with your values. But they're not afraid to, you know, to say things that may be even contra controversial. Morally, you know, on the fence. Yeah. 
And then there's this. The fact that there's this emperor and then this knight of pentacles, both these people dress very well. We see the money on the floor. This to me speaks to somebody being doing very well in business and or their career. Why is it in reverse? Why does it look like everything is in freaking shambles? And again, the fact that somebody has not moved on. They can't stand to be alone, but the fact that they can't be with, I feel like they can't be with this one particular person. They found their way to you or Capricorn. You may be the person that knows you're misaligned with someone and you have not moved on from someone from your past. This could very well be both ways. We see mentally and emotionally somebody being stunted, not where they need to be for their age when I think of the kings. That three of pentacles, things not work. Again, it's the lack of things clicking into place. It's a total misalignment. Things even over time, giving a situation time, it has not gotten, gotten better. It may even be getting worse. but it doesn't seem like this situation has to affect you. I mean, other than you might have to let somebody know that um, you understand that you, you guys are not for each other. Uh, yeah. Because it's very obvious that they, they have feelings, deep feelings and emotions for someone. But they're elsewhere. The raven on the cut for me they have deep feelings and emotions to the point where they're still talking about this past person, past situation. They would go back in a heartbeat, but because this person has said they would never do it again with the Raven, never more. That's the only reason why they're out here in these streets. That's the only reason why you're entertaining this person that you know you may not be in alignment with. Capricorn, somebody needs to get off the dating apps quickly with the quickness. Yeah, somebody's now moved on. Mentally, they haven't moved on. Emotionally, they haven't moved on. They're still talking like they're in a commitment. I, yeah, somebody's still very much committed to someone from their past. Period. Point blank. They haven't. They haven't moved on. If it was not for this other person, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again, if it was not for this other person telling them no, moving on, closing the door, and moving on to other things, a permanent closure, you you wouldn't even be talking to this person. Mm-mm. Mm. No parts of this. Yeah. Capricorn. There's a situation between you and this person that you are misaligned with. In which you may want to distance yourself. And when I say distance, I mean give yourself a little break. Look at, look, d remove yourself from the situation and really take a deep, a, a look at this commitment. They're still very much committed to this past person. Still. I mean, a mummy holding on to it. You know, sundial at the bottom, thinking about this past person. Won't let them go. Casket, tomb open. And then you see down here even. Just taking this leap of just jumping out there, flying by the seat of their pants. Capricorn. This person that you're entertaining. <laughs> they are in no position to be entertaining someone. 
they need to get themselves grounded and stable and let go of the, I mean, there's still anxiety over this past situation. Somebody's not moved past something. You know it, they know it, Capricorn. Again, if it wasn't for this person putting them out of their lives, they would take this person right back in a heartbeat. And that's not saying any, you know, anything negative about you. This person, they just haven't moved on. They can't be with you. You can't be with them. And they're still thinking about this past person. I mean, clearly they must be talking about this individual all the time. And what took place. And how it all went down or how it all went wrong or what they would have done differently or what they wish they would have done. It's just, it's just, yeah. Okay. I feel like somebody's in a very vulnerable and emotional state, Capricorn, that you're catching them in. But they're not done. They're, they're not done with this other situation. They, they've let you know multiple days and multiple ways, even in the way that they're texting when they communicate with you, that they're still talking about this past person. Capricorn. You need to do what you need to do with this person that hasn't moved on, if it's not you, from the last person they were in a relationship with. Family, drop this person's sign down below. Let me know what resonated for you. Like, share, and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn content. Check the playlist. Find me on Instagram. All of my links are down below in the description box. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.